ta lo falava e to ifa felo ayatu i lau mai mo mai i le fa popong le ne o tato por kalame kuka tastes of beautiful Samoa. O se por kalame u atu fa tasia mo tato mo alaman wheel tangata ta fa mai Samoa. O va eng o le ne por kalame u a fa ta u a fa pito a ita le ni o lo ito tono Samoa i a tato pisini so tau mafa mo fale ainga o le a fa nga ai. Fua tau o fa ele leanga fa pea tau mafa Samoa e o tato lava tangata ai mai so o lo i tau o lo fea ngai ma Samoa ma lalangi atoa i le nei vai taimi. O le a o tau sila sila i nisi o a li i matama i tai kuka a pito i longa i Samoa ma o le a lato fa asua ma ia i tato lato tu mai a nga vaa mo poto ma sani. and being the mainstay in Samoa's economy, we continue to see this crucial industry and its positive contribution in our livelihoods over the years. One of the very many important facets of maintaining this industry is Samoa's delicious traditional local food and cuisine. Samoa is unique uh, in its fa Samoa, or way of life, and food is pivotal to bringing together people in our families, in our village, and in our church. Cuisine is also so important that it's created opportunities for employment in our cafes, restaurants, hotels, an industry that employs about 5,000 people each year. We have over 50 registered restaurants and approximately 150 hotels and accommodation, providing food options that range from cooked umu from the market to impressive high-end organic food choices that rival even the best internationally. All across both uh, Upolu and Savai, these services are spilling over with amazing local produce and flavors, which depend greatly on our very own local farmers. Welcome to this edition of Kuka, Taste of Beautiful Samoa. Today we're here at Sheraton Aggiegrades Hotels and Bungalow and we'll be visiting with the artistic and creative talents of Chef Jiju. He has about 29 years of international experience in the restaurant and food industry and I'm really excited to see how he's going to be incorporating our local produce into his dishes. Let's check it out. Lenei tu la o leo tato fa tasi male ali ikuka le sunga ya chef Jiju ili mo tatel malo o Sheraton. Talo fa Jiju. Talo fa everyone. Uh, I'm just from uh, Sheraton Samoa. I am the executive chef here. Uh, I run the whole uh, culinary brigade here. Uh, today, what we're doing is uh, we're trying to create the Polynesian oka, which is I'm um, trying to make the traditional oka and the modern version of the oka here today. So we are trying to use all the local produce and the local ingredients for this particular dish. We try to source it everything from Samoa. Thank you so much for hosting us. Yeah. I'm particularly interested in um, sampling and tasting your, your dishes. Sure. But before we, we, we carry on to where you will actually demonstrate your creative talents, we're yes. really interested in knowing about you and your journey as a chef. Oh, okay. Tell us a bit about you. Yes. And Okay, see, I, I born in India. I'm from the southern southern part of India. So where I come from, the food is, you know, food comes first. So, you know, I was cooking with my mother when I was a childhood at home, you know, helping her. And that brings me to become a chef. That inspired me to become a chef. Then I went to the college in India, which I studied uh, hotel management and catering technology. Then I moved from there to Europe. Wow. I, got, I got a job in uh, QE2, the Queen Elizabeth one of the biggest uh, vessel at that time uh, traveling around the world. So I get to see 36 different countries and 36 uh, different culture of cuisines. And uh, I get to cook for many people like Nelson Mandela, like uh, Michael Jackson, uh, Queen of England, George Bush, Obama. So all these opportunities come through. I am traveling through the uh, ship and uh, working around the world. So I, I, I was working and trained in England for seven years. 
uh, I worked in uh, various hotels and uh, restaurants. So I bring my uh, other modern cuisine skills, uh, basically nature from uh, England. Then uh, I moved to Italy uh, just because I got married from Italy. So I just have to go to Italy and work. So I went to Italy. It's uh, one of the best food I think it's come from Italy. So I get an opportunity to work with the best chefs in Italy and uh, execute that cuisine as well. Try to learn and uh, uh, give uh, much more knowledge to me. Then I moved to Australia, the beautiful Australia next to the Pacific here. So I worked there for nearly 13 years in uh, various hotels. So I developed my skills in uh, Australia with a lot of other chefs as well. Then I was working for one of the fine dining restaurants in Australia. So I was uh, worn as a best restaurant in uh, 20, 2005. Uh, then I moved to, from, from Australia, I moved to Mexico, which uh, I was, uh, it was another world. I've been to Mexico and uh, I worked there for two years for uh, another hotel, which is, uh, is a chain of hotels. But uh, I tried to learn there a different kind of culture, culture and cuisines. It's uh, everything about a spice and different chilies. You know, they have like more than 30, 35 varieties of chilies. So how to work with the chilies and uh, bring the flavors out, you know. That was another experience for me. Then from there, I got an opportunity to come to beautiful Samoa to work with um, all the Samoans and, uh, and here we have a, a culinary school is APTC. APTC is providing us uh, with uh, new talent chefs. So I get an opportunity to work with APTC and work uh, with them and develop their uh, cooking skills here. Uh, um, and uh, I'm here now for past three years. Uh, we have uh, basically in Sheridan, we have two restaurants and uh, a lobby shop. So we have uh, Agi Grace, which uh, we turn into a fine dining degustation restaurant where we cook, uh, we change the menus weekly and uh, we give, uh, try to use the maximum local produce and uh, keep it simple. And it's a new progressive cuisine for Samoa. So I just want to change the culture of cuisine in Samoa to bring it to the next level. So while saying that I have a traditional a restaurant called Feast, which is downstairs, so where they cook uh, traditional uh, breakfast and we do a Fia Fia buffets, which uh, have a, a live uh, traditional shows and the fire dance included. And plus we do a local cuisine, especially the traditional, traditional cuisine, Umu style cooking. So we all developed uh, uh, doing in a feast. So that's, that's all about it. And today uh, we are here uh, cooking the traditional uh, Polynesian oka and uh, uh, oka with a twist, a uh, progressive oka, how we can do it in a, a different uh, modern way. That's what we're trying to do today. So That's quite an impressive yeah. repertoire. I'm actually really interested how you're going to bring together all that many years of experience, yes. that knowledge about international flavors, mm -hmm. and you're taking one of our very popular local dishes and giving us your take on it. Yeah, sure. But at the meantime, I'm going to give you the traditional look as well and, okay. uh, and a modern twist as well. So in order to do the oka, we're going to, we're going to go through the fish cutting process, which we caught the uh, local uh, fish today from the market. Uh, we have a regular fisherman, which supplies fish daily. Okay. So we have a beautiful tuna, which you, uh, we can come through and have a look uh, yep. how the chef is uh, breaking it down, the tuna. So this uh, this uh, uh, tuna we got it today. Uh, the chef Felix will uh, uh, fill in the tuna now for the oka. So how long does it usually take to, to fillet? Uh, As normally it takes it takes to fill this size to fillet to uh, ten to fifteen minutes. But an inexperienced person like me uh, probably in, probably, probably like a whole day. <laughs> 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 yeah. I think I could do it in a couple of yeah. hours, not a whole day. Yeah, but okay. just cut all of these fillets out. Yeah. What's next and where to oh, now? Next, uh, we are trying to make the traditional oka now, which is uh, we are using all the local ingredients which I prepped earlier. So in a local. Uh, some local cucumber which we get from the local supplier so that's one of the key ingredients 
Next thing is uh, the local tomatoes. Over here in Samoa, the tomatoes are uh, like a cherry tomatoes, but it's uh, in taste, it's fantastic. And add a little bit of uh, red onions, which we can grow in Samoa too. And uh, of course the chili, it depends how spicy you want the okra to be, then you can add more spice to it. So you can adjust it to my adjust taste. Adjust to your this taste. Afternoon. So yes, maybe you can. Uh, maybe you can, I can. You can, I, can, you can, I decide? You right. can decide so how, how, how much. many helpings have we gotten in here? Is yeah, this, this like... uh, I'm gonna make like say six portions. Six portions. So you can. Okay. Uh, yes. Actually, I quite like chili. You let me know if it's too much. Yeah, you okay. can add a bit more. Okay, great. All right. Yep. That's all right. that's that's, that's, that's all right. right. That's all right. Okay. So the the main ingredients is lemon juice. Actually, the oka is raw cured fish with coconut marinated uh, in uh, lemon juice. So I'm gonna get the, get the tuna which we prepared earlier. So that's, that's a diced tuna. Ah, sorry. And we're gonna add the uh, lemon juice to it. And of course the coconut milk which we prepared, Nancy prepared earlier. There. So you can uh, focus uh, here. And uh, salt and pepper to taste. So here we go, we have a fresh, beautiful woka made from all natural sources from Samoa. And that's it? That's it. Very simple. And I'm going to present the uh, woka into a coconut, uh, yang coconut shell, which is the, the coconut, before the coconut grows, it's going to come inside this plant. So this is, this is all the coconut. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fill the coconut in here, tuna in here. And of course, it goes with uh, taro chips. Without taro, Samoa is, Samoa cooking is not there. Chef Juju Tato Oka Samoa, Ya Aleo Tato Seloile, Lessituanga, Fango Tato Oka. So, Chef Juju, you're on to a progressive cuisine. What does that mean? Progressive cuisine is we are bringing the Samoan traditional food into a next level, which is more artistic and presented well. And actually, we work with the seven work with the seven senses. So, you know, what we're going to taste the taste flavors from the local produce and uh, we can see as a, is in a plating, it should be like a, like a painting or it should be eye appealing and the smell and the textures will be looking as good as the traditional okay. walker. All right. So, so we, are, we are using the ingredients same as the local tuna, which we used before. Okay. So we cut them into a square. This one, it's, we are cutting them into find the cubes and we're going to marinate this with a little bit of salt Masima. pepper pepper and some lemon juice uh, tipolo yep mm -hmm. and let it marinate this for a while then over here we are using the same uh, tomatoes onions and cucumber which is made already pickled them like we pickled them in a different uh, brine which is we cooked with uh, sugar vinegar and salt okay. and other dry dry herbs uh, while we say that we take the lemon juice into a 
different level. We mix with that mayonnaise and we're using that as a sauce uh, incorporating with your tuna. So we're gonna put that on the plate. So it's, it's, it's gonna be an, an artistic uh, plate. So it has to be like an art. Yeah, that's an art. So the next thing is we can present your uh, tuna. So you... The tuna is already oh. been marinated in salt ah. and pepper. Okay. How have you decided the shape? You just whatever inspires yeah, this is, this you? Yeah, an art. Okay. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it comes, you know, it takes a lot of experience uh, and a lot of uh, knowledge to do uh, an artistic culinary. How do you teach uh, this? Uh, this is, uh, this is actually, uh, we have to take a lot of discipline and a lot of uh, training to uh, achieve uh, this kind of cooking. So, so that you know, you have to be uh, well trained, and uh, we have to be disciplined. So there's a so there's an art to yes. the pattern that you place on the plate. Yes. The positioning of the food. The position. Yes. Everything okay. is uh, accountable for the dish. Okay. So next thing we can do some uh, onions, which I cooked earlier. The onions are pickled onions. So, so. we just place. And we're doing the tomato as well. It's marinated with uh, lemon juice, sugar, vinegar. Okay. Sugar? Yep. Is this, is this the tomatoes? Yes, so that's the tomatoes. So what have you got in there? That's got sugar? In there. sugar, vinegar, uh, herbs, okay. and uh, we have an additional uh, ingredients in here, which is avocado. Avocado is in season, so we're just using okay. fresh avocado to give it a modern twist. And this is your poke sauce. We just get the coconut milk and infused with all the ingredients. And we thicken slightly with the agar agar. Agar agar is a natural uh, seaweed gelatin. It's vegetarian. So that we can agar, agar. just get like a thickness of for the dressing. Okay. And instead of uh, taro chips, what we're using is uh, uh, we have saigo chips, which we uh, boil the saigo and uh, mix with a little bit of squid ink and uh, dry them in a dehydrator and deep fry them to make a crispiness. So that's the final touch. We're going to use some of the flowers, which is edible. These flowers can be edible. I don't know what we call them. Yeah, sungi. the sungi. They're edible flowers. So I'm going to add a little bit of sungi flowers to get that uh, tropical salmon feel to it. But you can eat it too. Yes, it's an edible flower. Okay. Edible flower from Samoa. I'm going to try one. Of course. Okay. You can see, as you can taste. Uh, How would you describe the flavor of a... Just, uh, oh, okay. So right. in the... All right. In the marinade. Marinade, yeah. Okay. So when you eat the whole dish, it's already in the marinade and it's uh, take it to the next level. <laughs> How's it, how it taste like? Um, it's different. It's different? You know, this is what's going to happen, Juju, is I'm going to be out in my garden. I'm going to be yeah. picking the flowers. So, yeah, we are cooking with nature. We're cooking with nature. My floral arrangement, yes. but then I'll also be taking it from and, the salad. And I forgot to tell you about my plate. The plate is, oh. uh, we call them uh, Black Sand Beach. Because black uh, sand in front beach. of Sheridan, we have the beach, which is Black Sand. So what, what we did is we bring <laughs> that Black Sand to our inspired dish. So we made in-house the plate and uh, the whole field. So this is our signature dishes. We serving in Aggie Grace uh, restaurant, which is a fine dining restaurant. We do uh, degustation menus down there. So, you know, anyone can come and see the progressive cuisine of uh, Samoa is right here. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's absolutely beautiful yeah. and creative. Um, I love how you put this together. So it's not only um, a visual experience yes. and sensory experience, I'm afraid to actually ruin this, ruin this. this well, piece of here. art because yeah. it is, it's, it's art. There we go. Okay. Cool. Okay, so 
the most exciting moment of today's show. It's now tasting time. Um, but before we get to sample these beautiful pieces of art, um, we have a very special guest with us, Miss Samoa, Miss Pacific Islands, Fono. Malo Soifua, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for being with us and here at Sheraton. Um, can you tell me about how it's going and your reign and one of the most exciting things that's happened lately? Yeah, um, you know, time's gone by so quickly. I'm already eight months into my reign and um, right now we're looking at whether a pageant will go ahead or not. So time, we're a bit uncertain as to what the future looks like, but nonetheless, I'm blessed to be able to be here in Samoa and to serve for our people. That's fantastic. Mirroring the, that hopeful um, spirit for our tourism and hospitality industry. Um, today, Chef Jiju's created for this, um, for us, um, a traditional Samonoka, as well as a- As well as a progressive cuisine. Like as a well cuisine. as a progressive modern yeah. cuisine. Now, you've got to see Chef Jiju put this together. What are your immediate thoughts and feelings with regards to what you're seeing here before you? I think, like you mentioned earlier, it looks almost too good to eat. Right. Um, the presentation is everything, um, and I look forward to trying it out. Sure, definitely. I'm not going to hold you back. Um, just make sure you leave enough for me, okay? I will. <laughs> All right. And let me know the feedback, too. Um, I'm sure it'll be nothing but amazing feedback. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know how you stay humble, Juju, with creations like this. Okay, so I'm going to hand you a fork. and. Thank you. Let's try our traditional Samoanoka first, and then let's see Jiju's take on that afterwards. All right, after you. Okay. Watch out for the chilies. <laughs> really nice. Yeah. All right, well, I'll just take this now. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm claiming all of it. All right, we'll have a look. Um, now, with Oka, I, I liked to, I always like a balance of the. Um, yeah. I guess the fish to the coconut cream. I love really rich foods, so I'm really looking forward See, to trying yeah, this with You can, with you can the... try with one of the toast to serve, I mean, the taro chips, which is a traditional way to eat. You're giving me a challenge here, Gigi, to yes. try and eat from the taro chip in yeah. a dignified, <laughs> in a dignified way. Okay, I'll try, I'll try, yes, here we go. Because you need to have so, the little crunch coming through. All right, your... you know what? I think I can handle this. All right, I'll put this down here. <laughs> oh, cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm. Is All right. it spicy enough for you? I could probably add a little add bit a more little spice. More. Yeah. I can handle a little bit more spice, so that's beautiful. And you're right. The taro chips went yes, with it perfectly. It yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna have to carefully dismantle this piece of art and see yeah. what this tastes like. All right. Do you want to go first? Should we go at the same time? <laughs> okay, which angle are you tackling? All right, let's I'll do go this. From here. You go from there. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go to, from there. You need to get like a mix of everything, like you know. The, I'm the, I'm becoming quite partial to the, the is it sungi over here? So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, yeah. a little bit of the asiasi, and yeah, this. A little bit of the onions. And yeah. I might have to take two bites. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, sure. Ready. Okay. And a little bit of the saigo chips. I actually I wonder. Yeah. Can we? I'll take two bites. Okay, we'll go. Let's sure. go. <laughs> I'll try a little bit of onions. Mm -hmm. you know, okay. Pickly liquid. Now I'm going to make a little sampler for myself. Sure. Um, so we have, here we have the sago that's complex preparation. Complex. Um, yeah. Let's see, we've got cucumber on here. Okay. All right. I'll have this. A bit of onion, finished. you reckon? A bit of onion? So you're almost like putting together the perfect bite up, yep. aren't I? Okay, here I go. <laughs> mm. Good? <laughs> it's really good. It's definitely a different take, yeah. um, especially with the, um, the marinated cucumbers or pickled cucumbers and onions, but it's still really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I hope you've enjoyed today's show as demonstrated by our creative and talented uh, chef Jiju. Um, you can see that we can incorporate a lot of our local produce into our meals. Um, so we hope that you take um, some value in some of the inspiration and creativity that you've seen here today and support our local farmers in your meals and food choices. I am Sheree Robinson Moores, uh, Country Director for APTC, working in partnership with the Samoa Tourism Authority. We hope you will join us again next week on Kuka, Tastes of Beautiful Samoa. Tofa so far.